Hello viewers, welcome to your show, Oziwu Hato, brought to you by KTV. I am your host, Mr. D. Before we proceed, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land, the Ohajo people of Nunga Nation. We pay our respect to the elders, past, present, and merging. Today, we have a special guest at Cool Life TV. This is someone who has impacted our community. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Christopher Sunday. Mr. Sunday, how are you? Sir? I'm very well. Mr. Sunday, yep, I'm pleased to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. So, so we are going to talk about a lot of things today. No problem. Um, so, you know, but before we proceed to with all of these things, we want you to introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Christopher Sunday. Mm -hmm. I'm from Liberia, and I was born in Grand Cayman County mm -hmm. in the year 1967. My late father, he's a Nigerian. Came from Nigeria during the Biafra War, mm. and he came to Liberia where he saw my mom. My mom, she's a Liberian, came out mm. Sunday, and we were born in Mana River, Grand Cape Mount County. Oh. So I left Grand Cape Mount County during the war. I went to Bomi County, that way I was playing soccer. From there, the war broke up. Mm. I flee in the bush for so many weeks and months. I was able to get to Sierra Leone. Mm. And I was in Sierra Leone as a refugee until my father and my mom resettled with me. Mm. And we all make our way through the bush and I was tortured bitterly. Mm. Well, that's a, that's a touching story right there. But you know, you have come a long way, you know, and which is good. I mean, to see where you started from and where you are today. But we can want to tango. Uh, but, you know, today we are here for a very important uh, interview for you. No you problem. Know, based on everything you've gone through. And today you're running as uh, president for the Liberian community. And you, you won the last time as well. So, you know, before we proceed with the, um, uh, the, 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 the running of the election, okay, I want to go a little bit deeper. You know, tell me a bit more. But you said, because I know you, you, you just told me that you came from, like, I mean, your dad is from Nigeria. Yeah, and, my dad. And, and I, can I just go by? My father that bought me, Alexander Okosone. Mm. He's a Nigerian. Nigerian. But he came during the Biafra War mm. to Liberia. Wow. And I where he met my mom. Correct. And I where they bought me wow. as their first child mm. in the year 1967. Wow. That's so cool. when the war broke up, mm. we all flee with feet. Mm. and went to Sierra Leone. Mm. So in Sierra Leone, I was tortured bitterly. Wow. Yeah, I don't want to call names, correct, correct. but I was tortured. Wow. Until people that know, they know. Mm. Especially we that came from Nigeria. Wow. So I was over to go on the refugee camp, mm. and I was there for decades. Wow. And how I resettled. In Sierra Leone. I left from Sierra Leone, I came to Liberia. Right. From Liberia, my, 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 my wife mm. at that time, right. her name Mami. Right. She, had, she was pregnant, she came to look for me mm. in Morovia. Right. And because of my wife, I started to play real football for Golden Star wow. in Nuku Town. You played for Golden Star? Yeah, that's that where I was until I was able to connect myself Correct. with people. That respected me and I respected them. Mm, well, that's that's a very uh, that's inspiring, you know. Um, I know you spent some time in Nigeria as well, did you? In Nigeria, I was there as a refugee for decades. Wow. Oh, let me just tell you something. Mm. I will tell you something. I want, I want you to mention that because yeah, I you went no, to no, no. Nigeria. I will tell you something. Let me tell right. you something. What I did in Nigeria. Right. Look, what the following me, mm. I planted a long time. In Nigeria, on a refugee camp, mm. I did so many things for we, the refugee. Wow. When somebody passed away, yes. 
no means of taking her body anywhere. I inbound them. Wow. I work towards ask Mr. Fatima Zina, wow. one of our elders here. Mm. Ask Mr. Zebe, ask Richard Barney, ask Joseph Crown, ask Pabil Cape. Mm. Ask Josephine Do, the lady that running with me in the election. Mm. She saw all what I did. They saw all what I did in mm. Nigeria. Wow. Burying people, embalming dead people, assisting people on my back, people passing away on me. I see the grace is following you. I did so many things. <laughs> Mr. Christopher, yeah. you, are, you, are, you are a legend. I, I, I always try to ask you, why do they always call you a legend? But now I'm trying to get... The meaning uh, of that legend. Shit. I will tell you the meaning of the legend. Uh, I will tell you the great meaning. Uh, when I came to Australia mm. in July, or either July or June the 26th, mm. I came to Australia as a refugee. Mm. 2002. Wow. When I came to Australia. 2002. Yes. I know I was just about to ask you the journey from Nigeria and all the way up. But yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. So when I got to Australia, yes. I didn't know anything. All right. I, I just take it easy, mm. bit by bit, right. to get to know people mm. and being with people, mm. start assisting people mm. until I decide to do security. Mm. But security, they want because I couldn't even do anything. So I said I wanted to join the military. Right. But then the naked mathematics, <laughs> I see the mathematics, and yeah. I, I'm confused. <laughs> I said, no, man, I can't do that. Yeah. Let me do security. Yeah, yeah. So I went to TIFF. Yeah. I learned a little bit of English. Yeah. And I put in and I start doing security wow. since 2002 to now. 2002 to now. So that's that's your first job. My my first job security until now. That's what I'm doing. So 20 plus years. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Uh, now that's 22 years. Now. Yes, in 2002. Yeah. I just, because we get our citizenship only three years. Three Two years, years right up. Yeah. We become citizen. So I just went straight into security. So you are the real Aussie boy. That's it. <laughs> now you get it. Now you speak it. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Because of time, let's let's try to move forward. But, but I... Exclusive at KulaiTV.com Yeah, so as I was saying, so now you came, you came, you came to Australia in two thousand and two. Yep. So when you first came here, how was the culture shock like? I know. When I first, first got to Australia, I would yeah. say there for free, mm. and people were listening, and people would say, "Yeah, Chris, saying the truth." Yeah. The only Liberian mm. we met here mm. that was Pap James Kelly. James Kelly. Yes, he's the elder man, mm. very responsible man, mm. very. There for people. Right. So Liber the Liberian first community meeting yes. was at my house in Belga. At that time, they called it Mandina Flat. Wow. So you've been here for a long time? Yes. Wow. Yes. That was the first meeting ever in my place, the Liberian community meeting. I can name everybody that was in that meeting. I wow. still get their picture wow. in my eyes. Wow. Wow. Yes. That's, that's great. Um, um, that's inspiring. That's great. So the election, the main reason why you are here. Yep. You won this election back in 2022, right? Yep. And you you have been uh, running this uh, community now for t for the past two years. Two years, sure. Wow. How's that been? How's that been? All right, I will just say this to you. My leadership, we are still together. Mm. We never separate from each other. Mm. But if at all, mm. the community mm. can give me the second chance, mm. In 2024, mm. I believe if they are all ready with me mm. and my leadership, mm. we will be ready for our community. Right. Number one, we need to do things together. Mm. If you have, okay, let me go back to, to 2000, uh, 2022 mm. when we were elected. Mm. There were no, I had thousands of people that voted for me. Right. But where are the thousands of people doing meetings? Nobody come to meetings. Mm. But but so someone will ask you, but that's your responsibility to make sure you bring the people together. I bring them as a leader. Yeah, it's true. 100 so percent So now if, if people were coming before now, people are not coming, should they hold you responsible? I believe that the mistake is from them and the mistake is from us. Okay. Too. I can't take the whole blame. What are some of the mistakes? Good. Coming to meeting number one. Correct. Right. Being there for people number two. 
Right. And we, as a leadership, we're always there for people. Can I just tell you something? Yeah. See in the community, mm. how many people are assisted? Mm. If I say I assisted, it goes to my leadership. Mm. With job wise, mm. people in problem, mm. people get criminal record, mm. people do have their, or, or, or how they call it, they have their citizenship. So, so let, me, let, me, let me tell you, let me ask you this question. Mm -hmm. If I am to tell you now, talk to those people, why should they vote you again? Because you ran. They said the, the first time you won. Yep. Okay. You are telling me all of your all of your deliverables, right? Mm -hmm. There's another lady in the election. Yep. So you, now you guys are two. Yep. But first of all, let's talk about few people r dropping out of the election. Why was that? Because they know because they were they were supposed to run. The reason why most of them drop, yeah, I just concluding because they know my weight. Correct. <laughs> Because they know my weight. The giant. And you know, they know my weight. They know what I have contributed. Yes. In the society we're in today. So are you saying that they know if they come, you'll beat them? I will beat them. Here? Because number one, I tell the boss because I own or, or, or I record it, I own video camera. Yeah. But I'm speaking from I'm from, from, from I'm speaking the truth. What we have done mm. for this community. You know what it means that you dare for your brother to get a job? Mm. Do you know what it means? The old, old, the our elderly people mm -hmm. looking for home, West home, right? And they coming to us with signing paper, right? For them to get home. Do you know what it means, children in the hospital? Mm. Do you know what it means, your 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 Liberian brother in court, mm. and you go there to represent him or her? This is things that we do for our community because in the community we know what they have done, mm. so we always stick up for them. These are our people. We can't let them to be in trouble. Mm. Yes. I, I, I feel like you got so much passion for this community job. I'm a community person. Mm. I'm a community person. I love my community. I respect my community. Man, you are one of my examples mm. that interview me. Mm. You are my son mm. in this community. Right. And the way you look after me, a passima <laughs> because of what because of one thing i did for you right today today you stay respect me right, yeah, right. so now you see you coming all with our security <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> roger so that means you know yeah. that i've been there for yeah, so yeah, many yeah, people yeah, yeah, yeah. not only the youth yeah. but the elders mm. the mm. women mm. of our states mm. People that, that 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 say yes, yeah. I will depend on this guy. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, anyway, I, I want us to continue it again. Yep. But we need to take a break. All right. So we'll take a few minutes break and we'll come back. So, ladies and gentlemen, we will be back. You are watching us right here on Cool Life TV. Don't go far. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hello, viewer. Welcome back to your show, Ozzy Wood Hard Talk, brought to you by Cool Light TV. I am your host, Mr. D. So, Mr. Sunday. Welcome back. Yeah, thank you, man, for bringing me back on on, on the show. Right. Thank so, you very much. Yeah, I, I want to stop. We stop around the election area. We we'll stay. It. Yeah. You know, and now I want to ask you more about uh, what you want to bring now. Yeah. You know, what what are? No, no. But before we go there, I want to be more specific. You know, we have the youth, we have the elderly people, we have the women department in the community. You know, and all these things. What's the change? What do you want to bring, especially the youth now? What are some of the plans you want to put together for the youth? What really we're trying to do now with my leadership and myself for the youth, mm. we're trying to empower the youth mm. before then. Like how? Like bringing them out, having meetings, making them to be socially together. Yeah. Uh, playing sports. Yeah, yeah. Playing soccer, doing some things. So just bring them together. That's our plan now. You want to unite the community. To unite the community, mm. especially youth. Mm. We will more, we will more be focusing on the youth. Yes. Yes. Because you find most of the youth around not doing the right thing. Mm. And you know, and today, most of them in one or two problems with the police. Mm. They don't even have status to even find a job. Mm. 
And you know, and sometimes I follow the youth mm. to the police stations. Wow, that's just... I talk on behalf of the youth. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. So, you, all, you earlier on we were talking, you talk about people not attending meetings, not many people. Yes. So now, you coming back again, you want them to vote for you. Yes. Tell me some of the... Uh, things you're gonna put in place to get people coming to a meeting. Have you have you realized why they're not coming? Maybe you, you, you need to do. You guys need to do some survey about that. You know, if you go into that magazine, yeah, because I can really memorize everything that we wrote Correct. in that magazine. Yeah, just good. Yeah, but just these are things then that we're planning now to do mm. for everybody now to be involved. Mm. We create all these things in our magazine. Mm. Let everybody be involved into the community. Mm. If everybody be uh, uh, involved and coming to to listing mm. at at any meeting, I will tell you something. Mm. Some people call me, oh Chris, sorry, mm. we never used to come to a meeting. Yeah, 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 yeah. But when you get back there, and yeah. we pray for you to get back there, Project. we will always come to a meeting mm. because some of them had their own personal things doing. Yes, and you know, mm. this is Australia. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now, now let's let's speak. Let's talk about women. Yeah, you know, the women are. Very powerful in every institution. Yes. Okay. What's some of the things you want to put in place for the women? We want to empower the women, meaning uh, most of the, our mothers mm. and daughters, mm. most of them, they are not into uh, like doing some courses, mm. like yeah, yeah, yeah. doing something for their own future. Mm. So these are things, uh, everything we get in a magazine, right. that because I can memorize everything. No, no, no. But you, just what you know. Yeah, these are things that we sit. Because, and, because now I can say, you know, you are the president. Yes. You know what you want for them. Yes. So lay some of the things that you really want uh, we, for these women. We're trying to build a women platform. Right. Eh? That why we're trying to get, we get a, we get a very busy chair lady. Yeah. And she will be able to organize all these women in together. Who's the chair lady? Uh, Martina. Okay. Yes. So she will be able to organize all the women together. I Meaning going, uh, taking them back for their own workshop, mm. the women workshop. Yeah. These are things that we will form. Uh -huh. We 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 with a branch of OAC mm. to Dr. Casta. She's the head of OAC. Mm. I will say great thanks to that lady, mm. Dr. Casta. Mm. So we have we we will be discussing with her right. about our women in our community. All right, all right. Now, I know. Somebody, I was talking to someone before, before I brought, before you came for this interview, right? Yeah. Uh, just a few days ago, when I was preparing this, I talked to one of the uh, leaders in the community, and he talked about if he was the president of the Liberian community, he would try to help people come over here to Australia. Like there are some people back in Liberia because we are not talking about Liberian community. Some people back in Liberia who would like to come here, and it's like, so now the question is, is that possible that the community can put hands together to bring some people here? Okay, let me just tell you a story. Mm. I think maybe at that time, whether you were here or you were not here, I don't know, mm. but maybe you heard the news that I was involved, yeah. But there are some Liberians that came into Australia, yeah, eh? yeah, and see how we Liberians chase them out. So we Liberian, we drove we them Liberian. Out. We mock at these people. How? Why? Oh, because we say we are the immigration. For us to go to immigration and talk for our people, yeah. we start degrading our people. So we go to the immigration to degrade and our make people. Them look bad. bad. So is that how community is supposed to be? But today, most of the boys, they are here, they are citizens. Mm. And they are doing well more than they who so, are degrading them. So those things are happening. Yes. So yes. So people come. To try to settle down. Settle down. And other people go to make them look bad. Now, Liberia now. <laughs> that's <laughs> Liberia right there you're talking about. Wow. That's Liberia. So, man, I happen today I'm in this studio. Yeah. KTV studio. Yeah. And I really want to express more. Yeah. No, no, Liberia, let's, let's, no, no, I, I, let's keep it basic. And, okay, okay. And, and, and we shouldn't get all the cat out of the box, right? We, we, no, we, no, no. I just want to tell you something about that person who told you we should bring people here. Easy. Mm. Very easy. If the whole community can work together, mm. we will bring more people here. Wow. But if you go there and say you're going to... Uh, 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 but that is your responsibility to make sure the people work together. That right? why, that, that's good, how we good. get everything planned now. Correct. In that paperwork. Yeah. So we, we want to see more of this. We're working happy. together. 
That will happen. Bring more people. Liberians, mm. I'm not talking about Somalia, I'm not talking about Ethiopia, I'm not talking about Nigeria, but Liberian. Most of our good are criticizing people. Mm. I say, I'm not talking about, I'm not in the TV, <laughs> I'm talking with you. Yes. There were so many Liberians that came from Morovia yes. to Australia. Mm. But we were there to say all kinds of things yes. about them. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, that's, that's a lot. So now, you know, we have gotten some people uh, citizenship, but where we have helped some people to get citizenship, and we have helped some people uh, to get out of prison. Yeah. So we are not coming to the end of the interview. So I want you to tell me uh, what exactly you are planning to do to also improve those people who are looking for citizenship or applying for citizenship to yeah. help them get their citizenship, and also those who are always involved into troubles to also try to prevent them from going to get into troubles again. Yeah, so what we all got to do, special like us, we the leader, mm. keep on counseling them. Counsel. Okay. Keep on counseling them, let them get away from involving themselves in criminal activities, mm. let them do the right thing, and let the government be happy for them. So more youth program Good. to talk to them. More youth program, let them go attend to some workshop. Mm. Because I'll tell you something, the OAC, mm. they put so many workshops and we trans we put it into our community chat room, mm. but everybody don't care, mm. don't care. You can go for somebody yeah. to say, "Oh, okay, can I just say something yeah, about you?" I, no, I just want to say something about you. No, 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 this is no, not no, 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 no. Today. This is about you. Okay, <laughs> no, I, I just want to say something. Okay. When I first met you, yeah, I said, "Look, are you going to maintain your job?" You said, "Yes, big brother, mm. I will maintain my job. Mm. Just help me." Mm. And today, you prove your worth to me. <laughs> See who you are today. Yeah, yeah. Interviewing mm. your own papi. Mm. Interviewing your own legend. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud of you. I'm thank proud you, of thank you. you. Okay, thank you. Let's get back to uh, this. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Sunday, uh, now that we are coming to the end of this interview, I want you to speak directly to your people. You know, tell them why they should vote for you. Give them a reason as to why they should vote for you, but not the... Your, 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 your counterpart. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, to all my fellow Liberians, I'm here today on KTV Live. I just need every one of you to please put me back for the second time, which is 2024. I will do all my best to make sure my community be calm first. I will make sure all our youth being together, I will make sure all our empower all our women and I will make sure our elder council doing the right thing. And we will visit homes, people in sick bed, people in any problem. Our community leadership will be there for them. Yeah, yeah so I just want you guys to give me the second term. Just give me the second term. We will do our best. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah, but, but thank you. I think that's a very powerful uh, recommendation to from you towards your people and as we are as we are closing down this i want i always like i always had this question in mind do they pay the leadership is the government paying the leadership very good for 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 this work government don't pay anybody down mm. but what the government do for us is encourage us mm. to motivate people our youth meaning the youth mm. Our elderly people, our women, mm. they motivate us to talk to them. Right. The government doesn't pay us. Damn. Mm. All the job I do in my community to make me living legend, nobody has ever paid me down. Wow. I do it on my own passion. That's me. Mm. That's what I do. Helping people to get a job, helping people to just do the right thing in the community. Right, right. No government have paid uh, that, or anything. Well, that's good. I mean, I like the fact that you people are doing this from your own heart. And, you and that's what I do. do. That's what I okay. do. Before we end all of this, you know, are, are you planning to keep moving? Because now you are in the LeBron community. We also have the African community in Western Australia. Is there, is there a way that you're also planning to move forward? You have brought something, or you're yeah. talking about African community. I'm happy for you to bring this up because yeah. I just thought it was only the Liberian community. Mm. But I'll tell you something, what I just did to Mary Booker, mm. just two or three months, I think four or three months ago, yeah. this girl from Uganda, mm. she had three kids. Yes. 
tiddy kids yes. and they bully these children in school in Alamara. Mm. So all the time I see this woman or children they will be in uniform. Mm. But when I look at the woman coming on the bus station, the children are going to school, they're not in uniform. Yeah. So I call her. Mm. I said, what's the problem? She said, oh, uncle, my children they were bullied in school. Wow. I said, what you say? She said, my children they were bullied in school. I said, no, I'm here. Mm. Don't worry. Yeah. I will help you. She's not a Liberian. I, 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 I took the it. stand. Yeah. I took the stand. Yeah. I called the Ugandan president. Right. So all of you guys work together. Yes. Wow. I called the Ugandan uh, 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 president. Yeah. And he connect that lady straight in the Ugandan chat room. Yeah. Today, today. I saw her today. That's good. That's good. I so, so she didn't even have connection with the community. No. But you joined it together. No, she had no connection with the Liberian community. Yeah. But she only know me. That's good. And I see her with her titty kids oh, that's in good. uniform. Yeah. But now, certain time, and I see the children, no uniform on. Right. So she told me. That's good. So that's I made sure the Ugandans mm -hmm. leadership there with our kids. Yeah. Today, the, today, the children going to school. That's happy. Mr. So, Sunday, it has been great having a conversation with you today. Thank you. But before we go, please give her your closing statement. Uh, my closing statement will be I'm happy today we are get a team. Yeah. I, Christopher Sonny, the president, yeah. and my vice president is uh, uh, Daniel Nimlin, yeah. and my secretary general, Savannah Coney, yeah. and my treasurer will be Imaya Allen. Mm -hmm. I believe we are there for the community, and the community should be there for us. Mm -hmm. And I would just say thanks and appreciation to some important people in my community, yeah. meeting my elders, mm -hmm. my child more anywhere you are, you listening, my respect to you. Mr. Eskin Brown mm. my respect to you. Mm. Pa, pa Richard Bunny, my respect to you. Pa Kelly, the Doyen, my respect to you. Pa Sidi, my respect to you. And to the women, I salute all our elders women. But I believe we are going back in the position as a leader. Mm. And I'm a winner. Mm. And I will go to my, to my, the Liberian Muslim, mm. Mr. Seku, anywhere you are, my respect to all my Muslim brother, the Liberian Muslim. I respect every one of you people, and I love every one of you people. Y'all please join me. There will be Victoria on Sunday the 28th. Right. And I will just say big thanks and appreciation to Kulai for bringing me in the studio. This is the wonderful, wonderful things he has done for me in my entire life. And Kulai brought me in the studio. Wonderful. And I will always be there for you guys. I will always make sure I right. put you first. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Well, we want to say thank you so much for coming here today, yeah. Mr. Christopher Sunday. Pleasure meeting. Thank so, you. So, viewers, we come to the end of this interview. It was a special one with Mr. Christopher Sunday. Until next time, I remain your host, Mr. D. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you, man. <laughs> Yeah, man. That's how it's supposed to be, man. That's how the community yeah. supposed to be a long time ago. That was fire. If we happy each other. Yeah, you, you really came with fire. You were not joking. No, but I was, <laughs> I was just saying the truth about, <laughs> about, about, about our activities. Yeah. And you know, yeah. if you say I'm the leader, yeah, I'm the leader. Mm. And then when the question ah, if I were taking pay, mm. then I would go to people who are begging you because they're paying me. Mm. But nobody pay us anything. Mm.